Kate from Southern Kitchen. I'm here at Atlas Restaurant in Buckhead, and we are going to be talking about some really great springtime dessert ideas. Um, I'm here with uh, pastry chef Christian Castile, and he is going to walk us through his new favorite dessert, it's strawberry shortcake. So Christian, can you tell me a little bit about this dish? Um, yes, it's a, a very simple dessert. Um, we use some fresh uh, strawberries from Florida. Um, right now it's a really good season. So, and then we have a very rich um, shortcake that we're making um, with a nice vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to make a strawberry consomme mm -hmm. uh, infused with um, hibiscus tea and red tea. So, to so give what's it more a, like a herbal? What's a consomme? So, a consomme is uh, basically a clear soup. Okay. Um, in this case, um, we call it consomme because um, we mix the strawberries with the sugar. Mm -hmm. um, you know, warm it up in a water bath mm -hmm. um, to get all the juice out. And then we're going to strain it and it's going to be a nice, clear, um, red, um, mm -hmm. you know, strawberry flavor um, uh -huh. soup. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So, um, tell me, I'm looking at your shortcakes right now. They look a little different than when I make shortcake. <laughs> Usually mine are just a, a big biscuit. Mm -hmm. yes. So what, what's different about these? So, um, I try to actually okay. do it thinner uh -huh. um, for a presentation on the plate uh -huh. to um, have different options of plating. Um, looking the more refined size. Okay. Um, um, the aspect of plating, uh, it can be a little different. Mm -hmm. So you can sometimes play more rustic, and some other times go a little uh, more refined to mm -hmm. when we plating. Um, so in this case, uh, I want to showcase um, probably two or three different okay. plating techniques. Cool. And so, is it any harder to make than like a biscuit would be at home? Um, not really. Mm -hmm. It's uh, quite easy. Mm -hmm. um, you can do it by hand. You can use uh, your uh, mixer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's um, different ways you can use. Um, in this case, we use um, brown sugar. You can actually replace it with white sugar if you okay. don't have. Um, heavy cream mm -hmm. or uh, milk. Uh, it depends how much uh, flavor and, mm -hmm. you know, um, fat you want to, okay. to the biscuit. So anybody can make that? Yes. Cool. That's good. Mm -hmm. So Chef Christian just whipped up some vanilla whipped cream that we're going to use to build the dessert. Um, and he's going to use a piping bag to make it extra pretty on the plate. Um, so what is this tip you've got there? Um, it's a same honor tip. It's a classic uh, French dessert. Uh -huh. um, the difference is like it's a plain tip but have like a cut um, angle in uh -huh. a B. Okay. Um, so what we pipe in is going to have this um, zigzag way like oh. um, very fat in the bottom and very um, thin on the top. Okay, cool. But if you were doing this at home, you could also just use like a, a Ziploc bag or something yeah, too? Yeah, you can yeah. use a Ziploc mm -hmm. bag, you cut it out mm -hmm. and put the cream. Yep. Um, you could also just glob it on too with a spoon, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this whipped cream has got some special ingredients in it, doesn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so we add uh, white chocolate uh -huh. and uh, vanilla, like uh, the real vanilla, uh -huh. um, to give it that nice um, flavor of um, Vanilla. It's vanilla. not just like, yeah, I think it's a more um, rich in flavor mm -hmm. and give it a special taste to the strawberries uh -huh. um, and make it nice, um, you know, uh, nice rich dessert. Um, you can also use uh, whipped cream. Regular whipped cream. Mm -hmm. So does the white chocolate help stabilize it? Uh, it helps a lot to stabilize mm -hmm. it, but in the same time we don't use any sugar. The only sugar will be the white the chocolate. White chocolate. Mm -hmm. okay. So one thing we can do is actually um, half of the shortcake, we mm -hmm. can pipe. That's beautiful. And then we can put some fresh strawberries on the side. All right, so, so far this kind of looks like a regular strawberry shortcake I would yes. make. Mm -hmm. And then we can pipe actually the um, sorbet, okay. um, lychee sorbet. So we've got this extra uh, component to the dish that Christian's made from lychee. And tell me about lychee. So lychee is a Asian fruit mm -hmm. um, from China. Okay. Um, it's a very um, floral taste mm -hmm. um, and give it more, uh, I think with the, you know, the combination of the red tea, the hibiscus, mm -hmm. um, refresh a lot to the 
um, to the dish, okay. having a sorbet like this. If you can't find lychee, but you wanted to make this sorbet, what would you use? Um, well, you can use solar fruit. You can mm -hmm. use make um, a strawberry, strawberry. sorbet, mm -hmm. yes, to complement, you know, have it even like a stronger flavor on a strawberry. Okay. And especially since since when you pre pretty much you can replace the strawberries uh -huh. with the lychee. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. So this is um, Connell. It's called a type of a scooping. Okay. Um, it's very pretty, prettier than like the just the regular just the ice regular, cream scoop. Yes, and actually, <laughs> to me, it's a nice technique that you can do at home too because uh -huh. everybody has a spoon. Spoon. Yeah. You don't need to actually have an ice cream spoon. spoon. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then another thing you can do is actually put the no, more shortcake. More shortcake. Mm -hmm. A little powder sugar. Then we make some uh, strawberries uh, chips. Okay, it's, uh, so very it's simple to make too. Do you um, make them like potato chips, or are they different? It's uh, a little different because uh -huh. we add simple syrup. Okay. So we slice with a uh, mandolin the strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, we dip it in the simple syrup and put it on a sheet tray. Okay. And in the oven around um, 200 or can be a little lower than that. Okay, so um, it's dehydrated. Yes, mm -hmm. dehydrated for probably 90 minutes. Then you flip it over uh -huh. and another 90 minutes. Okay. And it's going actually nice and crispy. I think they sell these at Trader Joe's too. Yes. <laughs> Maybe not quite as uh, thinly sliced. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives a nice color and mm -hmm. you get something crunchy, crunchy. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then you can actually finish with the touch of the um, consomme. Okay. So um, the idea will be or uh, either way serve it with the consomme already or mm -hmm. you can just pour it um, to the table. Kind of looks like a really thin strawberry jam. Yes. So it's nice and clean and give you a lot of flavor to yeah. the strawberries. So um, it's beautiful. That's one presentation. Yes. All right. So this is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try some. You want a spoon too? Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Gotta make sure I get a bite with of all of it. Mmm. Can really taste the tea. It's delicious. And the texture of the shortbread is nice and crumbly and kind of cookie-like, but a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so and rich in flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's very refreshing as well. Yeah, it's delicious. Well, thank you for inviting me into your kitchen and showing me how to make your strawberry shortcake. Well, thank you so much for coming to Atlas. Mm -hmm. And for more tips and recipes, visit southernkitchen.com. <laughs>